What's up, party people? I finally did it. After uh, actually putting in some effort, I managed to get level 200 on uh, Decron, which is very exciting for me. Um, so this video, I'll just be covering a little bit about how that went, how I got there, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future content, and let's get this party started. So where do I even start when it comes to talking about getting level 200? Um, you know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. Uh, it's not that getting to 200 is incredibly hard or anything. It, um, I think the thing to me that was always so frustrating about it is that it was delinked direct or, you know, it's linked directly with how much money you want to spend in terms of, you know, like how fast you're going to get it. Right. Because the truth is, is when you AFK farm, AFK farming in the Arcadia polluted area, um, gives the best experience by far. And yes, in a way, you can do it free to play by getting those five minute um, Arcadia protectors. But I don't know about you guys, but the idea of sitting there and exchanging for like hundreds and thousands of those through that annoying window is just absolutely terrible. Uh, so, this is part of the reason why I just haven't gotten this level until now. I mean, I think the level 200 map and Grandmeisters came out over a year ago now. Um, the other thing for me, too, was I didn't really, besides the Grandmeisters, there wasn't anything I was too excited about getting to level 200 for, because the Elmar map, yeah, the Rondo stuff dropped, but it's just another AFK map, right? Like, you just go there and you AFK. But I've been seeing Korea getting a lot of really cool updates recently, and they just added 210 skills, and I'm like, oh, man, I should, I should probably at least get level 200 so I can, you know, have the Grandmeister skill, right? So I've been doing a lot of the level 190 dungeon in... Um, what is it, uh, Dravis, uh, the Dravis DK map, the uh, Forgotten Shipwreck Party Dungeon, which, if you guys didn't know, is the best experience in the game, like, when you're actually sitting there and playing. Um, however, having experience scrolls and XP items uh, makes a huge difference in terms of how fast that goes, but either way, even without a lot of those XP items, it is still very good experience um, overall compared to any other dungeon, so... That was primarily how I did it. I did go ahead and I bought myself a 30-day holy water, you know, some time ago, just so I could be AFKing when I'm not playing with runes, so that, you know, I was getting some kind of just passive experience as well while I was at work and stuff like that. But yeah, so I went ahead, I did it. I, uh, I streamed the whole affair for those of you who were there. It was uh, cool to kind of share that moment with you. Everyone was really supportive. It was a lot of fun. Um, once again, it's not terribly hard to get level 200. However, it is... It is still a journey, and um, I, di I didn't realize how much people have leveled uh, since I kind of haven't really been playing. I mean, I, I saw someone the other day in uh, the Shipwreck Dungeon that was level 228, I think, and then someone told me the other day that that same person got level uh, 229, which is pretty crazy. So we almost have a level 230 on our server, which is... I don't know, it's kind of crazy to think about. I mean, I think about how long it takes to get to level 200, and the idea of doing another 30 levels after that just sounds absolutely insane to me. But, you know, some people are, you know, really grinding it out. Uh, that person, I see them shouting and doing uh, that 190 dungeon all the time. I think it's like Emlyn or something like that is the name. I can't remember. Um, I'm sure someone who watches my videos knows. Uh, but, and then they probably, you know, AFK and Arcadia or Matera or whatever when they're not playing. So, but, but they, but they haven't stopped. So kudos to that person for, uh, you know, continuing to work really hard. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, level, uh, level, level 200, I could check it off my, uh, my list of things that I've wanted to do on Decron. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, so as you can imagine, after getting level 200, I decided that I was, I wanted to do what anyone would do, right. And unlock my, uh, Grandmaster skills, right. So, I started doing the uh, Grandmeister quest. Now, guys, I had n absolutely no idea how long this quest was. And I was streaming it, and I was like, wow, this thing just keeps on going. I mean, basically, you go through not every map, but basically every map, and you have to kill monsters in, like, specific areas in order to uh, progress the quest going forward. And the quest actually gives a lot of experience, too. I mean, at level 200, it gives, like, 0.02% per quest, which is pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, so I started my journey going through, and at one point, somebody mentioned to me that I was going to have to do the Red Hole event, and I was like, oh, Red Hole event in Matera. Uh, but as some of you know, there's actually an event going on right now that makes the Red Hole event happen more often than it normally does, so I kind of lucked out on that front, and uh, um, I was able to 
well, what I ended up doing is I got to that point where I needed to do that quest, and then I, you know, I wasn't going to sit there and wait for Red Hole to happen, and honestly, I didn't know when it was going to happen, so I just found a spot kind of near where the Red Hole is in Matera, and I set up my battle support, and I went to bed, and I was hoping for the best. <laughs> So I did that, and then uh, when I came back, I hopped back on, and that portion of my quest was done, which is absolutely fantastic. So I went ahead and I uh, went to the location where I would, you know, turn in my quest. I wasn't sure how much longer this quest was going to go, uh, but luckily, after doing the Red Hole event, um, I didn't have to do anything else. I thought maybe I would have to kill a bunch of guys in Shangri-La or something, but uh, nope, you just go to the guy right by the... Uh, Entrance to Shangri-La, and you talk to him twice, and then once you've done that, you complete your Grandmeister quest, which is awesome. And I was uh, very eager to go and check out my uh, Grandmeister skills, so I uh, headed over to where I always go to check out my skills, and uh, I went to the uh, you know the uh, Colosseum area to see what my Grandmeister at level one would look like. Needless to say, I was actually fairly unimpressed with <laughs> how the how the grandmeister skill is at level one um i think i start here i used Dar dark wide just because i wanted like a little bit of a comparison or whatever but um just like your meister skills until you actually get them leveled up pretty high they're not actually that fantastic and unfortunately getting the grandmeister skill books is quite a bit harder than getting your normal meister skill books which i mean it should be that way although i wish there was um, a more direct route in farming them. Uh, you can see the skill right there. Um, but uh, luckily, I had uh, been at least a little prepared, and I did have some skill books so I could uh, at least start leveling up my Meister skills. Now, I actually do need to give a quick shout-out here to S-Y-R-I-A, Sira, Sira, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I don't know. But um, uh, this guy actually uh, sold me some Grandmeister skill books some time ago, and he said, if... He sells them to me. I have to give him a shout out in my video where I hit level 200. So here I am, man, level 200, and here's your shout out. So with the skill books that were sold to me and the free skill book that I got, I had a total of four skill books. So I'm like, okay, let's let's see if I can get to level five. So I went ahead and I used all of these, and I succeeded on my first upgrade. I succeeded on my second upgrade. I failed on my third upgrade. And then I succeeded on my fourth upgrade, which got me to level four. Um, and then I immediately went again, and I wanted to, uh, you know, check out what the skill was like. And it had not gained any hits at this point. Um, and I went on that, you know, good old, you know, the good old Decron Info website, and I saw that I didn't gain hits until level five. So I had it in my heart to at least get to level five. So um, I went ahead and I found myself another skill book. With that other skill book in hand, um, I went ahead. I, I have some 30% Nyers that I had saved from a long time ago, so I decided I wasn't going to mess around anymore, and I used the 30% Nyer instead of the Nyer instead of the 15% that you get from the shop. Um, and I went ahead and I got level 5, which is uh, absolutely fantastic and, uh, as you can imagine, filled me with all kinds of joy. So here we are, level 200, and I got myself a level 5 Astral Darkness, which is uh, pretty nice. So we'll, we'll check it out now here at level 5. Um, if you saw the clip earlier, it wasn't a ton of hits, uh, and I will say that the hits are quite a bit more impressive now, although I know it's even better at level 10. That's when I gained my next amount of hits, but uh, there's Astral Darkness for you at level 5. Still a very strong skill. Um, in comparison, Dark Wide, at least right now, is still a little bit better, but they're actually quite a bit better. But once, once that gets to level 10, I know the base damage is much higher, and I know that there are a ton more hits, so... I'm looking forward to that. Uh, as for farming those books, um, unfortunately, I mean, there's a quest in Shangri-La where you can maybe get a random, or with a random box where you can maybe get it, although I've done it a bunch now and the rate seems pretty low. I do know that the skill books have a decent drop rate in the 195, uh, at least I, I think it's 195, Quinn's Dungeon, whatever level that is, 190 or 195. Uh, but I don't think I can solo that dungeon and it's not very active, so I don't see myself running it unless I can maybe get some people to run it with me. We'll see. But most likely what will happen with me leveling up my GM skills is I will just try to save up Graces and Dill and just buy Astral Darkness slash GM books, you know, as they're available. And then hopefully I'll get it to level 10 at some point. And I can make a video about that. Um, <clears throat> but I don't expect it happening like right away or anytime soon. I, I'm, I'm also like working on my gear and stuff. I'm trying to, I have not been playing the game at all and I'm trying to, 
trying to kind of catch back up with things. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by the economy. It seems to be a lot better than it's been in the past. Um, I, I, I managed to purchase myself some plus 10 Helion armor, which is awesome. And I also managed to get myself a gold dragon scale belt, which was cool. Uh, and, and this was just from selling random stuff I had and um, AFK farming and farming keys and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's been getting a lot better. Um, but, you know, I, I want to finish out my Helion set. Um, I would really like to get a better orb because my healing orb is kind of bad. Um, it's not like horrible, horrible, but it's not fantastic. Uh, I got to do some upgrades to my PVE costume. Um, you know, there's like lots of little stuff that I'm working on now, and I'm working on some of my other characters as well just for fun. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've actually been playing again, which has been good. This has kind of refreshed the game for me a little bit. Um, uh, VFun sucks. The new publisher sucks. They literally do nothing. There's nothing going on in game, but luckily the economy is at least a little bit healthy, so I'm able to kind of have fun on that uh, sense. Um, I do have some more video ideas of stuff that's going to be coming out uh, in the next couple weeks. Um, hope you guys can look forward to those. Uh, some guides and some kind of fun content, stuff like that. Uh, suggestions, you know, guys, if you have anything you want to see or any videos that you want to see, um, you know, I'll try to work on those. I know a lot of people have asked specifically for class guides, kind of like the Dragon Knight one I did. And uh, the one thing I do want to say about that Dragon Knight guide is it was a lot of work. It was a very big project. It took me a long time. Um, and I had someone that had very intimate knowledge of the Dragon Knight to help me with it. Um, in order for me to do that with other classes, I mean, the two that I could probably do right now, I mean, I already made an Alokan one and a Wizard one. They're outdated, kind of, but they're still pretty relevant, but they're not like nice like the Dragon Knight one. Uh, but I could maybe do one for Segnal. Uh, someone helped me with some information on Segnal. But if anyone out there um, feels like they have intimate knowledge of a specific class build, so whatever tree you're on, and you would like to work with me to put a guide together, um, I know a lot of people would like to see it. And um, I'm willing to put the effort in, you know, talk people through it, make the video and all that. But I just need to understand the class. And in order to do that, I will probably need help from someone. So um, if anyone would like to be a part of that, you know, just let me know. And uh, going into 2022, maybe we can get some more uh, get some more Dacron videos rolling and, and non-Dacron videos. But, you know, I, I make a lot of Dacron videos. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, getting 200 was a lot of fun. I like Astral Darkness a lot. It's a fun skill. Um, I'm going to be saving up my shekels, and I'll, I'll be really looking forward to getting it to level 10 because uh, I know it's a lot better there. Um, but, yeah, uh, questions, suggestions. As always, leave them in the comments, and until next time, take care.